What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. We are currently in the BBB, my OG oh, so music turning on, my Denali build. Let's fire this old girl up. Oh yeah, yeah. Now if you guys harken back to this build, this was my blood, sweat, tears, most money I've ever spent on a vehicle, most money I've ever spent building a vehicle, most details we've ever done on a vehicle. Oh, this truck just turned out phenomenal. It was my first time ever going to SEMA, the first build we've ever done for SEMA. I just absolutely love this truck. And well, I've mentioned in previous videos, she's kind of like semi-retired now, you know? She sits on a battery tender and drive her every once in a while. She's only got 44,000 miles on her. She's still a baby and she gets detailed every week, you know, just living the, living the dream. But she is long overdue for an upgrade and that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna let her get warmed up here and we're gonna head over to the warehouse. It has been a long time since the BBB has been in the shop. You can see this is kind of the retirement spot now. We got the OBS, gray OBS, she's retired. She's sitting on a battery charger, keep those batteries. Well, I, I kind of let them get a little low, my brand new one, so we gotta bring those back up. But she is all nice and clean and detailed from Genesis Detailing. The golf cart needs to go. That needs to go back out to the ranch, so hopefully we get that out there soon. But let's dive in to the beautiful BBB and what we're going to be doing to her today. Uh, now, as you know, this truck has pretty much just about everything we could do to it done to it. Lift kit, wheels, tires, everything color matched, custom grill, backlit grill, flog bumpers. Like we took this truck to the nine inch here. You guys saw already. Um, one of the other things we did is rock lights. And you'll notice all of those up in these wheel wells. There are 32 total. I believe my truck before it, we did like 20 something. So on this one, I was like, well, we gotta really up the ante. So we went 32 and they were great. They were bright. They worked for a while, but if you've seen me out at any shows or anything in the last like couple of years, you haven't seen the rock lights on and that's for good reason. Let me turn them on. So we come look in the wheel wells and you'll see we've got four lights per wheel well. Um, and we actually did these really cool. So we, instead of mounting them on the surface, we came in from the backside because the C4 lights that are installed here, uh, let me show you. I think I've got one sitting in my toolbox that'll give you a look at how they install so we've got the c4 and you can see they're kind of like a puck shape i don't know how you'd really describe that but basically they're meant to surface mount like that well when zach was building this truck for me we thought it'd be cooler if we came in from the back side and actually recessed these and mounted them from the back of the fender liner and we actually had these custom spacers made to uh, not have this thing stick out you know all of that half inch or whatever that distance is so the spacers hold it back to where these just barely protrude and if we had time before SEMA back then we would have painted everything black so they blended in better we just didn't have time and I really didn't want to pull all that back apart to paint them black but let's dive into the issue now this wheel well looks great all four lit up the rear wheel well let's see we've got one of four that is working in this wheel well and then if we come up underneath we've got that one's working that one's not working let's go to the back side oh and look who it is hi sergio you ready to work easy day hard work's done nice. done it took all the lights out hey wait, wait, wait. what we got in this wheel well uh, uh just one one working <laughs> one working okay get on the creek yeah, how to replace the ones that are work not working or all of them are gone uh, all right we got this one this one works that one doesn't work and then Here's kind of your dead giveaway, they're going out. If you look up right there, you'll see how that one is white and that one is a nice candle <laughs> yellow orange. That's usually indicative of them bur about to burn out pretty soon, so. Oh really, they change color? Or yeah, RGBs? these ones are colored, they're RGBs, <laughs> yeah. So we can't have that. So because of that, I haven't been turning on my rock lights anytime I've gone out because, well, having half lit rock lights, that's no bueno. Who made this bracket? Pretty cool. Zach. Cut it in like the radius and all that? Oh yeah. Wow. Professional. That's professional. So we are going to be ripping out all of the rock lighting that this truck has on it and upgrading it to the new work for it rock lights. And I've got nothing bad to say about the guys over at C4. They've been awesome to me over the years. Sometimes things happen, products burn out, is what it is. These new work for it rock lights are freaking awesome. Look at that. Look at that laser engraving. Hold on, focus camera, focus. 
Oh, these things turned out super sick. I'm very excited to get these on. I'll give you guys like a little comparison between the two since we have that brand new one and these brand new. Once we go over to Sergio's, I'm actually gonna pull this over to Sergio's shop. He'd rather work on it outside over there than try and squeeze in to uh, my shop, being that we've got a bunch of crap stacked everywhere. Back outside we go. Man, that's probably why they're burning out. Yeah, yeah they're getting a little warm back there. A little toasty, a little toasty. Definitely, uh, I mean, they get it hot. As long as they have a good uh, heat sink or it has a good uh, airflow. Not There's not much airflow back there. Get <laughs> airflow in there. Not much airflow back there. All right. So here you guys, you guys can see the little spacers that that the guys that were presents had made. And that right there is what set us apart from what everybody else was doing. And then we really, honestly, we just used tension to hold it because once this thing is screwed up into the back there, uh, you don't need any screws to hold it. So it eliminated us having to poke a bunch of holes into the liner. A little custom custom setup right there. Where did you get the rings from? We had those CNC'd out. No a water jetted. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. So first we start off with the deconstruction. And that's basically where we're at here. We're gonna pull all the fender liners out. Now good thing is everything had connectors so the fender liners can come out. If you're ever doing this in your fender liners, put connectors. Don't just hardwire everything because it'll make your life a pain if you ever need to pull your fender liner out for any type of work. Like these trucks to change out the fuel filter, you have to pull the passenger side fender liner. It just makes life a lot easier. And again, this truck has 32 rock lights. So there's rock lights everywhere. There. <laughs> there uh, on custom brackets right there so good news is some of these custom brackets we're gonna be able to reuse uh some might get a little bit funky but when we start drawing some stuff up to go get uh cnc'd yeah now the cool thing is like all the work's been done to eliminate shadows at least for these lights so it's not like we have to figure out placement because i hate shadows and when you're putting rock lights on your truck like shadows are a big thing you don't want shadows anywhere right like i mean you're gonna get some but you try to eliminate like the ladder bar shadows coming off on the four link bars or anything like that and placement is crucial if you're trying to do it properly all the hard work has been done on figuring out placement so all we really have to do is just swap out light for light the location should be good the lighting should still have the same effect uh, the ones we're putting on are brighter i believe they have a little wider of a spread but i don't think it's going to affect anything we'll find out when we go to turn them on I'm so excited to see these things lit up this is going to be like the most that we've ever put of our new rock lights on a vehicle so super stoked Meeting call. Oh, meeting? Meeting. It's private. private. You need me in there? What? I'm an employee. I'm an employee. The driver's side is already done and the liner is put back in. Look how sick these look. I love seeing the little work ports on the side. We were thinking we might actually have to turn them this way to mate, to mate up with the radius of the uh, fender liner, but it actually looks like they work out perfectly long ways and that keeps the logo logo side out. But yeah, these things, these things look super sick. Extension brackets so we can use the original mounting points off the two floor lights and basically use the work for lights. Again, we've done all the work to figure out where we want them. Let's keep those brackets so we can switch over to the style of light. So we're using uh, Sergio Table Saw here. We're just cutting little strips of plastic. And then from there, these pieces will mate up to the original brackets and that will allow us to attach the new bigger lights. These are the exact same size as the lights. All we gotta do is drill a little bit of holes for the wiring and we will be good to go. Now, here's the thing with rock lights. There is like infinite applications uh, when it comes to installing these things. So since we're basically modifying the original brackets again, so we're not having to make new stuff, cut new angle iron or anything like that. I've been digging through Sergio's shop to find uh, some hardware to make things work. So basically our rock lights ship with two brackets. You've got either the flat mount or I guess gaskets, rubber, whatever, I don't know, whatever you want to call us. You don't need to use these. The only reason I'm actually going to use this right now is because they have these standoffs which allow for the wire, which if you look on the back of one of the rock lights, you can see where the wire comes out. So obviously if we were just going flat on to this plate that I'm making, um, you have to notch for the wire, which I actually did on one of them. And I feel like it can be done cleaner. So with these little uh, standoffs, gaskets, mounting brackets, mounting rubbers, it basically gives you that standoff and it gives you multiple areas that you can run the wire. If you want a center punch your hole, you can run your wire through the center of, you know, whatever, your fender well, whatever it may be. If you want to run it out the back side, you can do that or actually just cut with a razor blade right now and cut that side open right there. So we should hopefully, this is executed properly. Oh wait, if I actually get this put on the right way, 
Oh, looks like I need to cut it a little bit more, but I'll be able to run the wire out the side, which goes to exactly where the wiring was previously ran for my C4s. So I'm just gonna take wherever my razor blade went. All right, I found it. So I'm just gonna trim this a little bit deeper and hopefully not cut my finger because we don't want that. Now we've got a little bit bigger of a notch. Let's see if the wiring fits now. And again, this is like a super specific way that I want these mounted, which is why I'm doing this. For most applications, you obviously won't be doing this. I think we're gonna work right there. Look at that. Coming out the side perfectly. And again, this is gonna be the back side. This is tucked up against the frame, so you won't see this from the front, but the wiring that's already there kind of comes out right next to this bracket. So we should be good with that. This will then made up to the existing bracket. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little, a little bit hokey, but once it's up underneath the truck, everything's black. Um, I think it'll look pretty good. I don't think they turned out too bad there. I think it's a pretty good adaptation of the original mount. And again, these ones go right here. So that'll be how the rock light is mounted. And then again, the original wiring is just right there. And Sergio will hook that all up. But that allows us to retain, again, the exact positioning. You can't 100% get rid of shadows, but we know for a fact that this is where we're going to see the least amount of shadows. We could have probably mounted it a little more streamlined that way, but I kind of like seeing a little work for it logo there. I think it looks good. If we were to start from scratch on another vehicle, I would definitely make my own brackets, but just in the effort of like, let's get all these swapped out and you know see how these new ones look without like a crazy amount of effort because I just don't have time. Uh, we got a bunch of projects we're working on over at the ranch. This is gonna work. And it's only for a couple of these little ones. Now up front, we actually got rid of the original brackets because this is mounted on a round bar. One of the little flanges, rubber thingies that comes with the rock lights actually is meant for a radius bar. So this will mount up on any type of radius bar that you have, including that little cross member right there. So the old brackets came off. These actually allow it to mount up nice to the round bar. And that's how Sergio did those lights. I'm not gonna lie y'all, going into this process, I thought this is probably gonna be one of the easier things we've done because everything's already pre-wired. Rock lights are, they're kind of an expensive thing to have installed because I mean, there's just so much wiring. You could probably find like a smaller shop in like a podunk town that'll do it for pretty affordably. But a lot of the bigger shops that know like how many hours they're gonna spend wiring, uh, they can get kind of expensive. But the cool thing about rock lights is they're also a very good DIY thing. They don't draw a ton of power. It's not like it's this big crazy thing that you really have to do the mathematical research to make sure you're using the correct gauge of wire, although you should, but it's not like a super critical, crucial thing to where like I wouldn't trust doing it myself if, you, if you're any type of DIYer. And then we're also running 32 rock lights, which is way more than most people are ever gonna run. Really a set of eight is decent, 16 even better. I like to do at least two in each wheel well, Two on each side, two front, two back. And again, that helps to get rid of any shadowing on the ground. On this one, there's so many brackets that we are retrofitting that it is, uh, it's taking quite some time. I've made four brackets so far of, I think I gotta make 12, somewhere around there, 12 brackets. All right, we are down to the last retrofit brackets. The other, these ones that go sideways in the rear. Sergio is finishing up doing his last little bit of wiring. What do we got, two more? Two more. Two more, everything is getting nice and butt connected, heat shrunk, and all perfect and watertight. That one's gonna go right there. I gotta go make the last and final bracket. Everything else is already on and installed, but we've got that one right there. We've got the front one there. There's one that goes up underneath right there, as you can see. I'm very excited for it to get dark to see how these look. Again, we'll do a bench test here in a second so you guys can see like just what we're coming to, to what we have now, or where we're coming from to what we have now. I don't know, it's been a long day. I wish I could have done it before and after. However, there's like half the lights were out, so it wouldn't have been a, like a true fair before and after on this thing versus uh, the new ones. I got the missing one right here. Uh, there you go. Are you Finally, I can go home. It's like midnight already. Oh, come on, Sergio. You're not gonna wait around till dark? Look at that, y'all. Look at that. We are looking good. Cannot wait to see this all lit up at night. What do you say, buddy? I think we ought to give a set of eight away from this video. Okay. How do I do it? I think the best way we should do it, anybody that orders anything from workfortapparel.com, from the time this video is up, we'll give it 24 hours. So from 3 p.m. is when this video goes live to 3 p.m. the following day, which will be Tuesday at 3 p.m. Any order placed is gonna be eligible that there's a chance we're gonna throw a set of eight rock lights into one order that is placed in that time span. Or you can just order a set if you would like, workportapparel.com. Can I get a few tickets, maybe? 
There's no tickets, RJ. You just gotta place an order and we're just gonna randomly toss it in one of the orders. Maybe? So I have to order something. I need a new keychain on my. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay, okay. Sergio, don't say that because everyone's gonna be like, oh, you don't give Sergio keychains. <laughs> Sergio can get a free keychain, guys. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, this is the second one I got, so. There you go. Yeah, don't All right. worry. <laughs> All right, I'm in Sergio's lab while oh, he's finishing up that last one. Let's see if I can figure out his, his laboratory instruments over here. Uh, this one gonna blow me up? Maybe? I don't even know if that's powered on. Oh, oh, so you wanna put four against it? Yeah, yeah. I like your style, Sergio. I like your style. Alright, Sergio, Sergio, real confident in our lights. Woo! Okay. Now, obviously, it's gonna be a little tough to see on camera, but we've got C4. Work for it. C4. Work for it. I should probably do this in the dark. I don't know how to turn this light off above me. So let's see. I'm gonna cover up one. Let's cover up the work for it rock light. There is C4. And this is like a really kind of crappy test here because we're in a bright shot, but there's a C4 rock light. There is just point at the same angle as the C4. There is the work for it rock light. C4, work for it. C4, work for it. Even though I can't see anymore because I just blinded myself with all these lights. Okay, um, oh, he's got way more faith in my ability to jam some things into there. Let's see, does this thing turn on? Ooh, this thing looks scary. Right, we're gonna use this other power source. Hopefully not shock ourselves. Okay, well, only three on the strand work, but. <laughs> uh, there's three of these lights. To R1. Work for it light. Let's get that right there. Just trying to put the work for it at the same angle. There, hopefully you guys can see. Three of those to one of ours. We'll again, we'll do it this way. Work for it. Work for it. Three of those. Hopefully that test showed anything, because I cannot see anything at this point i'm an idiot for staring at all of this but in the dark bench test that we've done i mean obviously you're talking you know three leds to one from what we have seen these are significantly brighter you know we did a lot of research on basically getting some of the best lights that we could find what do you think sergio what do you think you're yeah. the lighting expert yep they're about the same three c4s to one mm. one of ours yeah so right now we are at 12 volts 0 0.35 0 0.35 amps for or ours Okay, now let's... Or well, 350 milliamps. Oh, whichever you want. Yeah, yeah, for you milliamp guys out there. 350 milliamps. Right. Single C4. Yeah, obviously this will be, I think, should be lower. 0.2, what were we? 0 0.3? 0 0.35. 0.35, okay, there you go. So we're actually pretty efficient if you think about being about three times mm -hmm. the light output. We're just a hair more amperage draw, which still means you don't need super thick wire for these, right? Yeah, still good with 18. Should be fine. There you go. Um, you can go 20, but... Just to be safe, because uh, sometimes you put more than one through the same wire. Right, so, so 18, 18 gauge minimum, you should be good to go. You should be good to go. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> as much as I love it getting dark later, that means when we do videos like this where we want to show off lights, we have to wait a long time until it gets dark. So, thank you to Sergio for doing all the wiring today. Everything looks great. Uh, being able to pull off, swapping out 32 rock lights a day. You know, that, that's a pretty pretty productive day, so I'm happy about that. But we shall continue this video when it gets dark. However, let's just, let's just take a quick little walk around of how beautiful this truck is. For those of you that didn't see it get built on the channel, this is like when my YouTube kind of blew up. It's when I actually started taking YouTube seriously is when we built this truck. So there's a lot of memories and love that goes into this thing, but she is an absolute beautiful truck. Oh, I love this thing so much. When that high idle kicks on, let's just, just go listen to this thing purr. Oh yeah, yeah, she sounds great. Well, as you can see behind me, the sun is setting. We've got a uh, supervisor here at C. Bailey 619. We gotta make sure everything's good. It's cold, man. Cold? Yeah, oh yeah, you ready? You wanna hit the switch? You wanna do the honors? I forgot how to do this. Like, you got this, buddy. Here you go. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, wavy. Oh, got it. All right, you ready? Let's see it. Here we go. I remember what switch it is. Damn. Dude, those are so bright. A damn UFO. Right? Oh, I'm super, super stoked with how those turned out. Jesus. Yeah. 32. 
32. Obviously, again, you don't need 32, but since we had already done 32 with the previous rock lights, we decided let's just replace, you know, let's go one for one on all the lights, but that is a lot of freaking light. Let's take the camera from Chris. Chris, great job, buddy. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Now again, we're filming on a GoPro. GoPros hate low light, so it is a good thing we have all these bright lights because it is helping, of course, the beautiful work for it. LED backlit grill, but jeez, these things are super, super bright. Look at that. Looking good, looking good. Oh, I love it. Should we throw these on my truck? Yeah, you want these on your truck? As you guys know, Chris keeps his truck parked right there. Um, he painted it blue, but whatever, you know, things happen. I sold my parking lot. Oh, there you go. Absolutely love it. And then again, the reason I wanted to put the lights exactly where they were is it helps eliminate a lot of the shadowing because we already had done the like research to see where the least amount of shadows were. Obviously, again, you're going to get some shadows, but we like areas like this where it's just like shadows are about as eliminated as you can get. Super, super happy with how that turned out. Looks phenomenal. Huge upgrade. Again, if you guys want these rock lights, work for apparel.com. Get you guys a set or um, like we mentioned previously in the video, anybody that orders from the next 24 hours after this video goes live, I'm going to throw a set of white rock lights into one of those orders. Could be yours. Or it could be yours. Me? You? Nice. 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 I need 16 though. Oh. All right, I'll give you eight and then you buy eight. So it's like buy one, get one? Yeah. But only for you. Nobody else can't afford that deal. <laughs> so as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click this. Wait, wait. If you're not subscribed already, please click subscribe. Oh, there you go. All right, yeah, it's been a while. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. And don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Say bye, Chris. See you later, guys. Damn. Uh. Yeah.